should have been left you years ago and he is going in y'all do you know this bitch is on the phone like <laughs> but i love you we got kids yo you would have thought i was a baby daddy you would have thought i put that kid in her you would have thought I put that baby in her. You would have thought I was beating her back down for a year. You would have thought I was the baby poppy. You would have thought that was my baby. The way she was like, oh my God, it's a boy with a sonogram. Oh my God. And I'm just like, yeah, friend. Like, Here's the motherfucking tea. All right, so let me tell you the tea, right? Spill the tea. What the? Spill the tea, sis. Hey beauties, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're not new here, hey girl, hey, how you doing? How you been? Where you from? Where you at? So by the title of the video, y'all already know what it's gonna be about. So today's video is sponsored by TTDI. Before we get into what they sent me, let's get into this. I'm pretty sure you're familiar with the company, but if you aren't, TCDI offers a wide selection of colored contacts as well as prescription contacts. So if you do wear glasses, they do have a collection for you as well. One of the things I love about this company is not only are they super affordable, but they always have a sale going on. And I don't know about y'all, but I love me a good sale. Now, let's get into what they sent us. So this is the view when you first open the box. You see the cases that you put the contacts in. So it also comes with a handheld mirror and it comes with the pamphlet what to do, what not to do, and how to put them in. So TTDI did send me four pair of contacts and that is my discount code y'all. So get y'all a little 15% off and make it do what it do. So I'm finna show y'all me putting on two pair, only two. This first pair, I'm not gonna lie, it did irritate my eyes. Don't come for the back of my wall, because anytime I do my makeup, I tend to put my hands on my wall. I'm sorry, come paint it if you got a problem. So now we're finna try out the Himalaya Blue Contacts. And I'm not gonna lie, I like this one. It did not irritate my eyes. I think only the first one irritated my eyes, because I put them in backwards. And yes, you can put them in backwards. I found that out when I was reading the pamphlet, when I should have read it in the first place. But yeah, ooh, that looks crazy. But yeah, basically, this is how it looks. And these contacts are brown girl friendly. If you know what I mean, then you know what I mean. Thank you, TTD, for sponsoring this video. Let's get straight to the story. So, boom, when I first moved here about six years ago, I met a friend at this job that I worked at, Adidas. Yeah, I know the friend. I did a story something about her. I think I was calling her a colorist or something because she was saying how her man didn't like dark skinned girls. And basically, her man got caught on plenty of fish talking to my friend Renee, the one that was living with me. And then she went missing story time. And the girl was saying how her man and like dog skins and all this other stuff right her so i forgot her name in that story time we are going to name her delusional in this story time the name sticks with her you're gonna see why i'm calling this girl delusional and all that right so in the many many months that i was going over youtube y'all i was dealing with a lot and one of the people that i was dealing with was delusional okay a little quick backstory like i said i first moved here six years ago tomorrow makes six years i've been here started working at adidas i met delusional she was basically like my first friend the first one i actually called a friend she been around through a lot you know what i'm saying so the type of friend me and delusional is we the type of friends, girl, we FaceTime every now and again. We talk on the phone. We'll see each other probably once a month. Have a little kid date, whatever the case like that. And that's how it is. Don't pop up at my house. I'm going to pop up at your house. If she sell a tree, tree her, her man, I go buy some tree, tree, support the business like that. That's the type of friends we are. That's the type of friends that I like. Okay, I don't want to see you every day. I don't want to hear from you every day. But when I do hear from you, we on the phone about three hours, four hours, you know. So, boom. I hit her up one day because I was trying to find some tree tree. And I couldn't find nobody to buy it from, right? Like, yo, delusional. I need some tree tree. You know who got it. You know you from here. You know all the plugs. So, delusional disclosed to me. You know, she know where it's at, but her plug was at work at the time. But she dis um, disclosed to me that she was pregnant. Again, okay? She been with the same dude for eight years, going on nine years, whatever the case may be. They have two children together, and she was pregnant with the third kid. 
One day, Delusional called me on FaceTime, right? I'm not even paying attention to the FaceTime call, because anytime she called me on FaceTime, I just put the phone down, continue doing what I'm doing. But this day, she called me on FaceTime. I was making my body buttons, but she was really, really quiet. So I'm just talking to her. I'm like, girl, what you doing, whatever. She just like, nothing. Just one word answers. You know what I'm saying? So I'm telling me to look down at the phone. So I go ahead, I look down at the phone, and this girl got a black eye. All right, so let me tell you the tea, right? Delusional has a black ah uh, y'all so i'm just like what the hell like mind you if you know delusional delusional is very light skin let me describe her for y'all so delusional is real short she real shorter than me she is actually a twin y'all her and sister look just alike she light skin i say she about five feet she real real little piercings all in her face if someone hit delusional she's going to bruise you know what i'm saying again i'm not the type of friend i be at delusional house every day she be at my house every day I'm not that type of friend, so I didn't know what was going on in her household, but all I know is she been with the same dude for years, so I already assumed it was him, right? I'm like, why you got a black eye? What's going on? Why you crying? Like, what did he do to you? We gonna call her boyfriend. We just gonna call him player, because that's exactly what he was. So we gonna call him player. So I'm like, yo, what did player do to you? Why do you have a black eye? Why are you crying? What's going on? Mind you, I hear her kids in the background. She's at the house. She's home at the moment. I guess player is at work. She's like, yo, I don't know. Like, I'm tired of this. He been hitting on me for so long. He choked me out in front of this girl and that girl. He did this and he did that. And I'm like, girl, like, why? Like, what's going on? So she's in the bathroom, y'all. She pulls up her shirt, pulls down her pants. She's like, like, no charisma, but look at my back, yo. How I'm supposed to go to my doctor's appointment? You know I'm pregnant. How I'm supposed to go to my doctor's appointment? My back is looking like this. So I go to look at the video. Yo, she got carpet burns on her back, bro. Not only does she got a black eye, but she got carpet burns on her back. So I'm like, damn, friend, like, what's going on? Like, she crying. I just start crying with her. I'm like, damn, we, we all done been through some shit before so you know I, I was relating with her i was you know like damn you know you don't deserve that you know like you don't know your worth yet you don't deserve that you pregnant with his kid all this so then this is when she comes out and she say she tells me so she's like oh remember that time you was buying a tree tree for me and i'm like yeah she like well player he always was cheating on me remember the time i told you i had found a condom box in the car and three condoms was missing and this that and the third and he was trying to lie and i'm like yeah friend yeah I remember that what happened what happened delusion she was like well yeah i got tired of him cheating on me he done cheated on me about 50 times and all i did i stayed loyal i stayed down i had his kids i did it all i still ain't got no ring this, like she just going off delusional going off right so i'm like yeah 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 like you ain't got no ring you did all of this and he's still violating you like what's really what's really good like delusional telling me she like long story short i found me a little shorty doo-wop or whatever and i was going behind play it back and I was sleeping with him because yeah oh she said basically my dude had found out about it and ever since then it's like the abuse have been getting worse like verbally abusing me physically abusing me he even doing it in front of the kids like this what she's telling me right I'm like damn girl so what like wait so it's alright for him to cheat but when you did it she like yeah but when I cheated I cheated for a whole year and he was telling me I had to have some type of feelings for the dude because it's no way that I was doing this whole cheating thing for a whole year and you know when girls cheat they got feelings and basically trying to manipulate her as if he didn't do it as if he wasn't driving around in people's car as if he didn't have his side pieces in her house you know what i'm saying like it was giving weird it was giving very narcissistic behavior but whatever i just was that listening air for my friend i didn't judge i was just like yeah i get it friend she basically said she got caught up he caught the messages in the phone when she was cheating and it was around the same time she got pregnant so he not sure if that's even his kid in her stomach asking her like yo so where's player now what happened now where's the kids she like oh the kids is out there they heard and seen everything he kept punching on me i passed out i needed to go to the doctor and he just threw me in the tub 
ran some cold water on me and he walked out the door. I'm feeling the way, but I'm still like, you know, that's her baby father. They still gonna be together. Like, I just know for a fact, like, I don't know. It, I just go feel it. Like, when a person is done, they're done. And she was not done. She was nowhere near done. So, again, I'm just being a listening ear for her. Trying to, you know, give her the best advice. You know, because, like I said, we all done been through that. People hand through their differently it take people years sometimes to leave they abuse her whatever whatever the next day i go over there i help her around the house mind you players not there players at work he worked from 3 to 11 right i wash her dishes for her help her clean her house straighten out her house he just talking and she just still going in about playing y'all like she just going off yeah he wonder why his kids are so bad and why they do this because he beating on me in front of the kids and yeah when i was pregnant he choked me out and i passed out and yeah he did this and he did that and she just going off and off and off and off i'm like he doing all this so you did that one little thing and like the world done fell over right but so mind you they had one car between the both of them and it was mainly hers because she was paying all of these payments and do as she say i don't really know y'all i don't really know but the car was hers right he was driving it to work when she became pregnant she got fired from her job as she say she kept getting all these black eyes and he would not let her go to work she was calling out of work calling out of work calling out of work and they fired her player he's now going to work now now he's going to be the provider he is going to take on the bills now she can no longer do it she been doing it she can't do it no more mind you these kids they got it was like they helped each other one went to work the other one went to work it would, it would be like that. I don't know. For some reason, she was going to work and he wasn't working. She got fired. He had to go find a job. So, he basically found a job. He's taking the car back and forth to work or whatever. Long story short, the day that I'm at her house, the car catches a flat tire. And I pulls up there. Her car is parked there, but he's already at work. Before I help her clean or do any of that, my friend is crying again. Delusional is crying again. So I'm like, Delusional, what's going on? What happened now? Delusional is basically telling me, like, he basically got paid. The car had caught a flat or whatever like that. Instead of him getting paid and fixing the car, he decided he was going to go to his side that he was using to, for him to buy a new phone. Y'all, it, it's just so much. It's like so many details, like... I'm feeling like I'm not saying enough. Like, Delusional's mom had cut her off her phone line, right? Because nobody in her family wanted to help her no more because she did not want to leave Player alone. Player was take, holding her back. Player wasn't doing nothing. Player was barely helping. So, the parents and everybody was like, yo, we don't want to help you. you. You want us to keep helping him. So, she took them both off the phone line, right? Delusional, she's now using Wi-Fi, y'all. She don't have no phone line on. Like, her man don't even have a phone at this point her phone is broken up too he done broke up her phone and everything the side bitch, right the side girl he is now driving around in her truck going to work in it doing all of this telling delusional oh no it's not like that i'm just using her for this that and the third you know tax time coming around my friend telling me how the girl's so ugly so fat and i don't know why she keeps telling me all of these things that your man is with her like your man likes that your man wants that he's not using her for nothing because she still ain't give him nothing and he's still over there but again i'm not saying this because we all been dumb for that one too so i'm not judging her i'm just there for my friend right so they get into it every time the boyfriend player go to work the side girl is hitting up my friend delusional talking about yeah that's my man he told me y'all wasn't together no more you just his baby mother you cheated on him with somebody else that's not even his baby in your stomach this that and the third blase blase blah right y'all it was getting crazy it was getting crazy help her clean up the house whatever like that i tell her she need anything i do she was still smoking and she was pregnant is that my business it's really not my business she wasn't that far along i think she was about like three four months it is what it is I try to give the girl a couple, I'm not gonna lie, I try to give her a blunt or two because she was stressed out and she was saying she needed it. The girl was so scared, like, the whole time I was there helping her clean up, she kept running to the window, she was so paranoid, she kept looking outside the door, like, her eye black as shit. 
and she worrying about player. I'm like, girl, players at work, why you doing all of this? She like, no, I gotta make sure because if he know you here, then he gonna know that I told you and it's supposed to be a secret. He don't want me telling our business to nobody outside and it, I just can't do this. I don't know what to do, Charisma, but I'm scared, so I'm just looking because I can't even take the weed. I can't take the weed because if he know, if he know that you was here, then he gonna know I said something and then he gonna hit me again and I'm tired of getting hit. I'm tired of getting beat on. Totally. I understand. I understand. Okay. Okay, cool. All right, cool. So she basically sent me telling me like, no, none of my family members helped me. Nobody helped me with my kids. It's just me and him against the world. And I'm like, girl, that's what he got you thinking. That's not really what it is. Maybe they don't want to help you because you always want to help him. And they don't want to help him. Maybe that's really what it is. But I'm not saying that to her. I'm just thinking that in my head like, girl. Come on now. Come on. I go home. I mind my business. I soak it all in. I don't say nothing. I'm, I am worried about her, so I do call her from time to time, check on her, write her, make sure everything is good. Mind you, her phone is cracked up and broke, so the bottom half is the only half she can see. So sometimes she got to, like, pull it up to see the message and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? About two days later, pass, right? I done checked up on the girl. Everything is good. Everything is copacetic. So she calls me. My Mind you, I'm making body butters at the time. She calls me on Messenger. So she's like, yo, I was wondering me and the kids could come spend a night at your house because my sister and her boyfriend is acting funny. So I'm like, what you mean? Mind you, this is her twin sister she's talking about. So I'm like, oh, well, what you mean? She's like, yeah, well, we was at my sister's house for like three days because our Wi-Fi is off and, you know, my phone is off. So I need to have my phone just in case it's an emergency or I need to reach somebody, you know, with these kids. All the doctor's appointments I have because I'm pregnant, I need to reach somebody, right? She basically was like, her Wi-Fi was off. She had went to her sister's house like that. And basically, her sister's boyfriend was coming home, and he had asked her, well, they've been here for a couple of days now. When are they going home? When are they leaving? Instead of her telling him, I guess the Wi-Fi's off, whatever the case may be, she was just like, oh, I'm going to just leave because obviously I'm not wanted here. So she called me. She expressed that. Oh, I'm tired of this. My family always doing me like this. They know I don't got this, that, and the third. And I'm just trying to be there. I'm trying to be the friend. Okay, I I'll help you out. You can spend that at my house, whatever. We can try getting that Wi-Fi on because Wi-Fi only costs like $50, bruh. 57 the most like come on we got spectrum like i know what it is so it's not that deep i even pay it for you i told her i even pay it for you so you can go home right so i goes over there i picks her up her car still got a flat tire it's still parked in front of her crib and her her, her boyfriend player is still over there sleeping at the side girl house the left on the kids right I get her, I goes over to her sister's house or whatever. I picks them up, her and the kids, bring them back to my house. For that night, everything just copacetic. Everything, everybody just having a good time. My kids, her kids, everybody just having a good time, y'all. Mind you, a month before this, this was December, right? The month before that, I had, I didn't get, no, in December, I didn't get no food stamps, no Eat Better Today, no EBT. I didn't get nothing like that because... Something happened, the case managers and all of them was quitting or whatever the case may be and then I had to research but nobody was there to research and long story trying to get no food stamps so basically I was buying food with cash and it was barely anything left to eat. It was a couple of quick things and basically it was for my kids, right? So it just so happened that same day she came to my house, my food stamps cleared for both months and I had got back two bands in EBT. So we was eating better that day. We was eating better tonight. It's going on like three days now. And my friend is still over there spending the night. They barely got no changing clothes. I'm asking her like, when are you going home? Do you want me to help you with the Wi-Fi bill? Like, I got to go food shopping. I got to do a whole bunch, a whole bunch of stuff. I got to record videos. Your kids is yelling. You're yelling. You're crying. You're arguing with play on the phone. I don't have time for this. Like, something is going on that you're not telling me that you're still in my crib. Because ain't nobody leaving their crib over no $50 Wi-Fi bill. I'm finna pay that. I go food shopping, right? Mind you, $2,000, no deep freeze. You got to keep going, keep going food shopping back to back to back, right? I come back that day. She sits me down and she tells me. She's like, yeah, I'm going to just tell you the truth. I didn't want to tell my family because, you know, they always judging me. And they always bringing up player and it's that and the third. So I'm like, well, what happened, friend? Let me know. Put me on what's really going on. 
what's up with it, right? So delusional basically tells me, but I'm going to just tell you the truth because I don't want you to just think I'm taking advantage of you and I'm still sleeping on your pull-out couch that you just literally bought and my kids just dirtied it up and all that. Yeah, yeah. She tells me the truth like, yeah, I'm not going to lie. The day after you left, our lights had went out. Like, when I stopped working, it was his responsibility to keep the bills up. And I guess because all of the bills is in my name, he don't care about my credit. He don't care about none of that. And he's still mad because he thinks this baby in my stomach is with the dude that I was cheating on him with. So, he don't want to pay. He don't want to help. Basically, he left her in the house, her and the kids in the house. There was no lights, nothing like that. And he went and he stayed at the side child that he claimed he was using and he just left her how he was so i had asked her, i said well, how would you at your sister house you didn't tell him that he put the hands on you they didn't see the black eye or whatever and she's like no i put on makeup <laughs> <laughs> baby and i'm just like you doing a lot to protect this dude to stay with this dude and it looked like he don't even care for you he don't even really want to be with you and she just kept saying excuses like oh no it's because i cheated and i really hurt him girl and he did it to you about fifty thousand thousand times like what are you talking about like i don't know because i used to be the same way so let me not even go there but anyway so that happened so i'm like what while she's telling me i'm like girl what well how much is a light bill maybe we could try to Put, get something together mind you delusional is pregnant no damn job i don't know how she's gonna do any of this so i'm telling her i'm like yo even if i gotta watch your kids for you while you go to work and y'all stay here for just a few weeks but y'all can't stay here that long because baby i just bought these new couches i just got all these eat better today like i just got my crib in order like literally my cousin Trow had just left and went back to New York. I literally just got my crib back in order for me to pick up another person and two children. Mind you, I had my dog Bella. I don't have Bella no more. I gave her away. But I had my dog Bella and it was just a whole lot of whole lot of y'all. I was having a problem with my friend kids because I felt like she was more into that phone. She was more into arguing with player. She was more into crying every damn day to the point my kids was like, Mommy, when is her kids leaving? They need to go. They was fine for the first week, but that second week, my kids was over it, y'all. When I tell you my kids were so bad, and they was only two years old and three years old. The three-year-old act just like player. That little girl was so abusive. She tried to a blessing a couple of times to try to, try to put a little ass out. Yeah, I don't care. Three years old and getting evicted. I don't care. You gonna control your kid or your kid gotta go. And if that's your kid, you gotta go with your kid. I'm trying to be as understanding as possible when I know damn well if I was homeless or my lights got cut off me and my kids could not stay at delusional and players house I knew that for a fact but I'm trying to be the nice friend I'm trying to be there that that's one of my love languages y'all I love helping people out remember I told you I had got back to 2000 eat better today right so we going food shopping or whatever we got mad food in the crib mind you i'm letting her and her kids eat whatever they want girl cook whatever you want i'm not selfish with food that's one thing about it i'm not selfish with food it's more to go around do what you do you know what i'm saying just clean up your mess clean up after your kids and i'm good the only rule i had was your man player cannot stay in my house he cannot spend a night I don't mind if he come see his kids because technically those are his two kids. It's a 50% chance that baby in your stomach could be his. I don't got nothing to do with what you and him got going on, but he will not be dragging you on the carpet over here because, baby, we ain't got none. So he will not be mopping the floor with you over here. He will not be doing none of that over here. So you tell your baby father those rules. He not allowed to stay. He can come see them if he want. All that arguing shit, I'm not doing none of that. Because I really didn't want to do it there. But who am I to be like, oh, well, you can't do this. You can't do that. That's her kid's father. Literally. Like, they asking for him. They talking to him on the phone. So I wasn't going to do that. So that's the only rule I had. I No, I had two rules. Do not eat in my kid's room at all. Mind you, at this time, they was in the living room on a pullout couch. Do not let your baby father spend a night here. Try to stay here. None of that. Because I'm not with it. And she agreed with those rules. I told her, friend, I'll help you out for a couple of weeks, but you got to figure out what you're going to do. Whatever plan you got, if you need to use my car, if you need me to wash your kids, let me know. I'm all down for it. So she basically said her baby father was working down the block, right? 
from my house. And every week he get paid on Friday, she was going to take the money, save it up so they could move somewhere else. Because they lease was in it anyway, y'all. So they was about to lose the crib anyway. So that's why they wasn't really stressing paying that light bill for real, for real. And the light bill was 700 and some change. All the girl really did when she was over here is cry all damn day. It's either cry yell at the kids or beat the kids cursing at her kids oh i wish i would never had y'all y'all stressing me out nobody want to help with y'all like she was going in so bad to the point where i will walk in and she will literally be using her fist and punching her kids like i understand her kids was bad they really really was I, listen if being a don't work then when you keep repeating that that's now called abuse bro that's not no longer called discipline they're two and three years old so i used to tell her like listen these are your kids but let's try something different they're used to being locked in the house they're used to seeing you and him fight and yell and argue all day let's take them to the park Come on, I take blessings to the park all the time. Let's take them to the park. Let's take them here. Let's do this. And everything I would try to come up with, she would have an excuse. Oh, no, they too bad to go to the park. Oh, no, they daddy don't want them to do this. Oh, no, they can't go there. Oh, no, they can't do that. To the point, it was just like, girl, do your family not want to deal with you? Or do you not want to deal with your family because you got too many damn rules? In the midst of all of this happening, right? Player comes over a few times to see the kids. Everything copacetic. Every time Player was over there, the side bitch was calling Delusional's phone, texting Delusional's phone, telling Delusional all types of stuff. Oh, that's her man, her man, her man. So in the midst of that, once Player would leave, Delusional would actually check the phone because for some reason she wasn't allowed to use her phone around him. I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. But she wasn't allowed to use her phone or nothing around him. So after he left, she picked up the phone. And it was always a side girl telling her all this, all that, telling her, her business. Oh, that's why you ain't got no lights. Oh, this, that, and the third. Oh, this. Oh, he's sleeping with me now. He only with you for the kids. He coming to see the kids. And my friend is just boohoo crying y'all delusional is boo who crying he's my man i'm gonna f you up you fat bitch. you mad ugly you mad black. like the color of shit it was killing me because it was just like why you gotta keep bringing up how she looking all that it don't matter how she look how she smell how you may think she fat you may think she ugly he think he she cute he laying with her all the damn time so what are you talking about delusional you writing about everything but what the you supposed to be worried about, baby. That happened over there. They get into a little argument. He's telling my friend on the phone that girl is lying. I'm just using her. She is nothing. I just use her car to go to work. I, I'm using her. She ain't important to me. You know, you the you and the kids mean everything to me. I love y'all. Y'all this, y'all that, right? So the next day, he was supposed to come get the kids. I never seen Delusional get a break from her two daughters. And she really did need a break because them girls were bad. They talk back. They hit back. They was even abusing their own mother here, y'all. Damn near sent her to the hospital. Damn near took her eye out. I watched the she was calling all around, y'all need a break, calling her sister, y'all need a break. Her sister was like, listen, I don't mind taking my nieces, but you got too many rules. My boyfriend can't be in the house. I can't have a drink. I can't do this. I can't do that. Like, she would want her family to take her kids, but then she'd be like, oh, you can't have this person in your house. You can't do this. You can't do that. You got to watch them this way. You can't beat them. You can't get mad if they drop an orange on the floor. And you shut the fuck up. Like, bitch, do you want somebody to take the kids or not? Like, do you want this break or not? Because you're not acting like it. Player was supposed to come get the kids. When it was time for him to get the kids, she wrote him. And he was basically telling her, like, I don't want to be with you. That baby in your stomach ain't mine. Anytime it was time for him to really take responsibility and physically help her out, he would not do it. He didn't mind giving her his little bullshit check every friday because the check was only 400 500 dollars and i was telling her like you don't think he he stashes some of that money because there's no way you working all these hours every week your check only 400 500 dollars but yet you living good like I, I i wasn't understanding it she was signed into his cash app on her daughter's tablet so she would see every time he would cash app and all that stuff and get paid so she was sending the money to her cash app and hold the money hostage because she was saying i'm trying to save this up for a security Security deposit and all that for when we move. You know what I'm saying? It was literally about two weeks, y'all. It was just getting worse and worse and worse. Like every day, she was crying more and more and more. She was having breakdowns. She was 
the kids. Y'all, the kids was scarred up. Like, I'm not even trying to exaggerate. It's because they real light skin. So, every time she would hit them, they were scarred. Like, I'm not trying to exaggerate. I'm not trying to say she was just in here just killing them and I wasn't doing nothing. No. I'm just saying, the way she was hitting them, the way he would talk to her... And then she would take it out on the kids, like, oh, he don't want to be there for y'all. He don't want to help me. All he keep talking about is this And he know we finna be homeless. He don't want to help and all this. And I'm just like, girl, you need to worry about you. It's tax season. You don't worked all last year. Go fag your taxes. Get that advance. Get that security deposit up. Get that first month rent. Pay that light bill. Get all that and go to your new crib. You don't need that. I'm telling my friend, you don't need that. You don't need him to be your father. You don't need him to help you with your kids, bro. I know it's going to be hard. She's like, yeah, friend, I look up to you because you all, you've been doing it. You, I don't be really hardly see nobody help you and you be doing it, bro. Stop running about it. Do what you need to do for your kids, bro. Then you chase that nigga. Nah, but stop running about it. You need to do what you need to do, bro. You pregnant, bro. Like, you finna have a kid. Like, you're tripping. I takes her to file her little, um, tax events. Mind you, play wasn't coming over no more. He told her to block him and everything because she wanted him to take the kids. She needed a break, and he got mad. He ain't want to take the kids because where he going to take them to? The side outside but she wasn't with that. So, I took her to get her little advance, and, yo, she got back a couple of stacks on her advance because her... She made a lot of money, you know what I'm saying? She made a lot of money, and I was telling her, don't let him claim none of the kids. You claim both of your daughters, because you the one who be with your daughters all year. Like, you tripping. Next day, her events come. So, I'm telling her, yo, you need to go fill out for this apartment. You need to go see this apartment. I'm telling her, get on your sh I read about what he's doing, right? I told her, I said, yo, go get your car fixed, your tire fixed, go get you some $90 insurance. Because all this had happened around the time I was driving around with no insurance, and yeah, they had got me, and I had to go to court, and they was going to make me pay a hefty fee if I didn't have insurance by the time I went to court. So, of course, I got my insurance back. So, around the time that happened, she was like, oh, I'm about to go get insurance on my car, I'm about to start driving my car. I'm like, yeah, because you're going to need a car to drive around, look for cribs, you're going to need to do this, you don't need to do that. Get your shit right. This one particular day, y'all, she was supposed to be going to fill out for an apartment, right? She needed a letter, a notarized letter or whatever from her baby father. Then they never showed up. She's in the house crying, breaking down. And I'm telling her, yo, you don't need to do all that. Your sister over there, you could get it from your sister. She's like, no, but I need him to come in the car and pick me up. Why do you want him to come in the side car and pick you up just so you could say you got something done so she calls him mind you her phone is broke so she's on speakerphone y'all this is like you ain't nothing you ain't nothing you's a lazy bitch you don't do shit you don't want to do nothing like you can't do shit about me you's a sorry bitch you's a lazy bitch i'm mad i got you pregnant i should have been left you years ago and he is going in y'all do you know this bitch is on the phone like <laughs> And he just like, don't give a fuck about none of that. Like, you don't bring nothing to the table. You want me to do everything. You want me to pick you up, do this, do this, do that. You, you can't breathe without me. Mind you, my kids is around. I'm telling her, can you please stop doing this around my kids? Stop having this type of energy around my kids. Because, girl, you're doing the most. Like, I understand. But take that shit outside. Keep that shit in the playground. But y'all, it don't matter what happened. She was not trying to hear it. She was in love. She did not care. She was trying to convince him that was his kid. He was like, yeah, and I want a DNA test because that baby in your stomach ain't even mine, ho. You was, you got pregnant at the same time. You gonna say he pulled out. He pulled out. You dumb. You could get pregnant from pre-cum. You dumb ass. I want a DNA. Da -da 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 -da. He going in, yo. When I say he going in on her, he is going in. Hey, this is the day I decided. I asked Cecilia, I said, Cecilia, would you mind if I take your TV and put it in the living room with your fire stick and put her and her kids in your room just for two weeks until they leave? Because that they had two more weeks. I told them. I gave them a deadline. I got two more weeks they, until they left. So I said, would you mind, son? Even though it is so wrong for me to be taking my own son out of his room, but I couldn't hear it no more. I couldn't subject that shit to my kids no more. And I couldn't put her out pregnant with these kids and i'm seeing her calling her family and they not letting her come over they not trying to help her i'm seeing all this y'all i'm seeing it so i didn't want her out in the street just homeless like that so i'm like 
I'm, I can't do that to her. So I had this little talk with my little 10-year-old son. Do you mind? Da, da, da. He like, yeah, because they oh, she always crying anyway and beating her kids. She could do that in the room. Like, they annoying when they leaving. But, you know, I don't mind. So I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, I tell her. I put, oh, no, I didn't even tell her. This particular day, she had asked me could I wash the kids in the morning time because she had a, a prenatal appointment. Mind you, she was pregnant. She had a prenatal appointment. She uses my car. I tell her, you know, you can use my car to go there because the baby daddy, he ain't never come pick her up in their car. And she was just crying again. And I'm like, girl, it's not that serious. She goes in my car to the doctor's appointment, right? She comes back. She is so excited. Mind you, did I tell y'all her kids was not bad with me? Her kids ain't play with me. They only disrespected her. They didn't play with me at all. She comes back from the doctor. She's so excited. She's showing me the sonogram. Yo, you would have thought I was the baby daddy. You would have thought I put that kid in her. You would have thought I put that baby in her. You would have thought I was beating her back down for a year. You would have thought I was the baby poppy. You you would have thought that was my baby. The way she was like, oh. And I'm just like, yeah, friend. Like, I'm hyped with her because nobody hyped for you with this kid. So, I got to be hyped. Ah! So, she, first thing she do, she gets on the phone after she tells me. She calls him, right? Delusional is so happy. My friend is so excited. She's telling her baby daddy, like, yes, we having a boy. Oh, my God. So excited for this. Yes. This is, like, the best news ever because they got two girls already, right? But he got a boy with his first baby mother because he do got another baby mother before her, right? She's so excited. Oh, my God. We have a boy. I'm gonna be a boy, mom. Yeah, my first boy. She's happy, right? Player is on the phone with speaker again. He tells her, um, I'm gonna need a DNA test because I only have girls and I only have one son, and that was my first baby mother. And me and you had two girls. That's not my baby. That's that baby that you was f at work. Yeah, that's why I pulled up to your job and beat his ass that day. Cause bitch, you a whore. You a so, so ass bitch. You can never be my baby mother. You's a hoe ass. I don't know why I had the first two kids with your slut. Yo, when I tell you he was just going in on her, like, yo, going in to the point my feelings was hurt. I was like, ooh, 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 he going in. I leave the room that she in, and I go over there, and I go to my room. And I'm just sitting on the bed like, oh my God, I hope she don't come in here with this shit. I don't want to hear it. I'm tired of her asking me for advice and I'm saying the same shit. And she doing the same shit. I don't want to hear it. I don't care about it. Just leave me alone. Why the girl come in the room? She like charisma. Should I get upset because he want a DNA test? But to That's be so. honest, I, I actually don't give a fuck. Why would he want a DNA test anyway? When me and that boy was doing it, yeah, we was doing it for a year. But we only started doing it without a protection for the last six months. And he always pulled out. He ain't never come inside. He always pulled out. So how could I even get pregnant? I'm going to continue to pray for you. You're really f***ing delusional. And she was like, what do you mean? Like, what, what are you trying to say? Like, a nigga's supposed to nut you so you can get pregnant. Like, you tripping. Mind you, she was 26. She was not that younger than me. So, listen. I don't want to hear it in the back talk about some. Oh, no. Because, you know, she didn't know. No, f*** that. She knew. She knew. She knew. So, she's also, oh, my God. Are you serious? Oh, my God. She starts crying. It's going to be the other boy, baby. I don't know what to do. I'm going to lose my family. You lost your family when he choked you out years ago, ho. You lost your family when he choked you out in your sleep, ho. You lost your family when he dragged you across that carpet, ho. You lost your family when he blacked that eye, ho. You lost your family when he chased you with a and you had your daughter running outside but naked. That's when he you lost that family. You been lost that family and you still holding on to what? This weak ass, whack ass nigga who ain't got nothing to offer? And I keep telling her that, baby. F*** that nigga. Had I been felt this way about Troy years ago, I would have been gone. I would have been in the South. I would have been, you know what I'm saying? F*** that nigga. But again, when a person is ready to leave, a person is going to leave. You cannot force them to leave. So again, we're going to enable my friend Delusional to be a dumb for these next two weeks. Yes, we are. We are going to enable her to be a young, dumb, stupid and we are going to sit beside her and we are going to cheer it on. So I tell her, yeah, um, I give every 
delusional, that boy do not love you, you keep talking like he love you, she like, yeah, but it was good in the beginning, before we had the kids, yeah, and now you had the kids, and now he feel like you're not going nowhere, he's gonna keep you, you're sitting here taking care of him, you're paying every single bill in the house, and the one time you dropped the ball when you pregnant, he couldn't even pay the light bill, he left you in a house with no heat, no light, bitch, it's winter, your kids is cold, bitch. Christmas just passed. He didn't get your baby no Christmas toys. Y'all didn't get no Christmas. Like, what are you talking about? Why are you still talking about player? Bro, she started getting me tight. And you see delusional. All these kids. Baby father just wilding out on her. Carpet burns all up and down her back. Black eyes. Bonnet. Hair haven't been done in eight years. Like, she's just stressed out. You could tell. Lung lost all this weight. She pregnant as hell. You can't even see the belly poking because she is that skinny. Like, she's losing weight behind this dude. Don't even got one pair of shoes. Like, stressed out. You know them people got two bras. Like, come on. You losing yourself behind this nigga. And I felt her because I've been there before. I done lost myself behind a bunch of niggas. Like... We ain't no even gonna say a bunch. We gonna say about three. About three niggas had me in the chokehold. And I'm not saying the chokehold literally. I'm saying the chokehold like, oh my god. But I love you. But stop. Like, I was her. So I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't gonna about to be judging her. But at the same time, I'm not about to be enabling your dumb bitch activities. While you in my house, my kids is looking at this shit. Asking me mad questions. Yo, it's so crazy because my daughter came up to me. My daughter's only 11 years old. My daughter came up to me. My daughter said, Mommy, why is she always talking about her boyfriend? He don't even love her. Do you hear how he be talking to her on the phone? He be saying so much bad stuff to her. And she just be crying. Why is she always crying, Mommy? Like, every time I ask her why she crying, she always tell me she just emotional because she pregnant. But she been crying since she got here. And it been so long. And when are they leaving? Her kids are so bad. They don't listen. Like, I can't do this. Like, my kids just was stressed out. My kids was more stressed out than me. All I'm trying to do is help a bitch. See what I'm trying to do? Help a bitch. Help a bitch. And I'm over here running my kids away. <laughs> that happens, right? Mind you, again, he tells her, just block me, bitch. I don't want nothing to do with you. Mind you, he don't have a phone. He writing all of this from the side girl phone. The side girl is seeing all of their messages, right? The side girl starts writing delusional when delusional's boyfriend is at work. So, my friend, no. Like, listen, this is not my dude. He not the one reading my messages. My dude is at work. This is the side girl. I don't know why she keeps saying my dude when he just said block you. He don't want you. You this, you that. You don't even look good no more. You ain't nothing. You ain't never going to be nothing. Like, he tells you this every day. And you still like, okay, well, okay, well, we're going to be delusional. And my dumb ass right with her. Okay, friend. So she like, yo, take me to the job. Take me to his job. So I'm like, what you mean take you to his job? Like five minutes away. He the work like five minutes away. So I'm like, well, what we going to do over there? She like, no, I'm going to just see if he at work. So I'm like, oh, she taking me on a mother dummy mission. She taking me on a dummy mission. So you think he looking at your messages, but he not writing back? She like, yeah, because I keep telling him he need to get the kids. He need to give me a break. I've been over here two weeks and nobody took them. She's like, yeah, I'm going to go over there. See, he over there and stuff like that. So we pulls up to the play a job. We pulled up to our baby daddy job, right? We sit there. Side a car pulls in, but they never get out the car. So she's like, oh, I'm finna get out the car. So I'm like, no, no, no. Wait, wait. Let's see who that is, because we don't want that to be the side bitch. And that big bitch beat you up. And now you over here crying. We, we, like, you, we need some hard evidence. We need hard evidence. You just assuming shit. Let's get hard evidence, you know? I'm that bitch. Don't take me on a dummy mission. I'm that bitch. I went on too many dummy missions. I know what to do already. So, boom. We wait there. About 10 minutes pass. She getting impatient. She like, fuck that. Fuck that. So, we hear a girl over the speaker on a truck. But the truck is like two cars down. We in the cut, like, parked on a, like, the, um, we parked in a regular parking spot in his job, in a warehouse job. But we a little back, like, you can't really see us. Car off, light off, and stuff, we just sitting in it. Mind you, I'm in a fishbowl, but we is, we, we back, we done put the seats back, but we on a real dummy mission. I'm excited about this mission. This was the first, um, fun I had in my life for some years. So I was excited. First time another
cheating on another bitch and it ain't my and my business. Yeah, I'm gonna help you out on your dummy mission. But bitch, don't cry at the end because we all know you gonna cry because I already know how this ends. I knew how it always ended for me. So yeah, I was just excited this wasn't my dummy mission and I wasn't getting played this time. So I was excited to go. I was excited to go. You know what I'm saying? So boom, go to the little dummy mission. It was just so good because my dad had the kids this weekend too. Oh my God. And then her sister had took her kids for one hour. Wow. Just one hour. I mean, it's something. But just one hour. But but she was on his mind. Dummy machine. Let me tell you what happened. So we can stay up on. Like I said, the the car pulls in. We hear a female on the car. So now we thinking it's probably him sitting in. So she's like, nah, his break is supposed to be at this time. He gonna sneak out. He gonna sneak out. We just gonna sit here. We gonna wait. So again, I said she was getting impatient. So she called the side phone, right? So the side starts talking. So I'm telling my friend, I said, yo, stop with the dumb shit. Let her talk. Let her say her piece, bro. Let the side bitch say her piece because the side, one thing about it, the side bitch gonna tell the truth. She ain't gonna put no body on her coochie. She gonna tell you the truth. What your n ain't telling you, she's gonna tell you. You should never be mad at the side that bitch don't owe you no loyalty. She only going for what this n telling her. What he telling her. This ain't got nothing to do with none of that. We gonna listen to what she gotta say. My friend's so delusional, she trying to yell, Oh, you fat bitch, when I see you, I'm gonna fuck you up. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, what you doing all that for? Because she trying to tell you about your name. Like, shut up and let's hear what she got to say. She got it on speaker, so she like, Oh, you fat bitch, you always calling my phone about this n***. He my nigga, da, 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 da. Bro, the side bitch, she speaking so calm, bro. She's like, okay, he's your n***. That's what you saying, but he been living with me for the last way. He been driving my car for the last way. You pregnant with another baby? Like you cheated on him with a boy at your job for a year? She said you're a whore. He only come over there to see his kids. It's only about the kids. He not with you. Y'all not together. If y'all together, how he sleep in my bed with me every single night? He don't miss one night. So how y'all together? Bro, my friend is looking so dumb. I'ma fuck you up, bitch. I'ma do that. I said, why you gonna fuck her up? Because she's telling you the truth. You over here crying every single night because he not here in your face. Because I told you, but she can't stay here. But you sit here crying because you don't know where he at. He not answering. After a certain time, he get off of work. He not answering. You don't hear him from him no more. He tell you to cash app him money to the bitch. To the bitch name. And you cash app it. In. Like, yo, this bitch is dumb. Get you homeless with no okay again i'm trying not to come at her but it's like at this point bitch, i'm enabling you to be a dumb bitch and it, it, it is what the fuck it is bro it is what it is like i was feeling dumb with this bitch. so we out there in the parking lot or whatever bro baby daddy player he starts running out the warehouse right so as he's running out the warehouse my friend jumps out the car as soon as she jump out the car and he gets to the side bitch car, my friend punches him twice. Boop, boop. So you got this bitch. Like, yo, she's mad little. And he's mad tall. She's mad little, like I told y'all. And she was so mad. Like, I said, so this the only time this bitch will fight back. He done drove you across the carpet. Black show eye. Beat that ass. Put you to sleep. Threw you in the tub. Walked over your body and left. Like, he did all that. But as soon as the side bitch come to pick him up, you jump out and you two pieces. So this the only time you protect yourself when another bitch is involved. It was giving wow to me. But again, I mind my business. Because I already know how baby mother, baby daddy is. I already know how me and Troy was. So I was like, I I'm trying to stay out of it because I was a dead dude, you know. But, um, you know. It's level to this shit, I guess. And she was on level 8,423. So it was crazy, bro. I'm just watching this bitch be dumb. And this bitch can be, be dumb with her. Because I'm just like... Maybe that's what that other nigga wanted me. Mm-hmm. These signs. Yeah. Now, I'm on my energy. My is fucked up and all that. Because I'm, you know... Happening or whatever. My friend punching him and shit. Oh, why did this? Why would you do this? Oh, this bitch just told me y'all Da -da 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 -da, Cause mind you, she was on the phone with the girl But as soon as her n started running out She hung that phone up and jumped out And hit him Come to find out the side bitch was in the car In the driver's seat Had I let my friend go over there She probably would have been strangled up somewhere Cause I didn't even know That's how much in a cut we were And I, was I gonna walk up to the car with her? No Is that my man or my sad bitch? No, no. 
Mm-mm. No. Did you help me run down on any... No. No. Mm-mm. No. Mind you, her nigga, after she punched him a shit, he didn't explain anything. He didn't say nothing. He turned around, ran to the passenger side of the side car and left his baby mother standing right there in front of the job she comes running back to the car crying follow them follow them because he ain't gonna play me he ain't gonna keep doing me and my kids like this he ain't gonna i'm like bro i think you already got your answer baby like she already done told you the truth. Nah, she lying he told me she lying she always lying she just trying to make me mad what the f is she gonna gain making you mad who get the bum first? Like, do you really not hear what you saying? Bitch? Is you dumb? I think she was dumb. I think she was dumb. Yeah, I don't know. They rides off down the block to the gas station. Side and player, which is Delusional's boyfriend, which is her baby daddy. So, she crying in the car. She like, oh, follow him, whatever, whatever, whatever. Delusional is delusional as you can see i don't know if you notice now it only gets worse while i'm telling the story y'all if you we ain't seen nothing yet i'm telling you it gets to worse we fall into the gas station player goes inside the store in the gas station right so my friend she gets out the car and she goes into the gas station so me i'm by the gas i'm parked by the gas pump side by is parked over here by the door so i tried to move the car up a little bit because i was going to go park near her because one thing about charisma i'm gonna get the truth and nothing but the truth because i know that nigga lying and i keep telling my friend he been lying he been lying like been lying and she not oh no he loved me he would never he said that the girl be lying is not no way 50 that came to you was lying and he, uh, he keep telling the truth. Make it make sense. Delusional. But yeah, whatever. The girl, she's scary. I try to go park over there. She tried to back out and leave. So I just left my car where it was. She parked back where she was. And the girl, the side bitch, she was really scary. Like, I don't know what was up with her. But she was talking mad shit on the phone to my friend. But it's like, once she seen somebody else, she was really, really scary. And I didn't know why. Because all I was to say was, bitch, I believe you. So what, what else he be saying? Because this bitch don't believe you, but I do. Like, I'm this, I'm this nosy at this point. I'm just trying to figure it out. Trying to figure it out. So I'm sitting there, I'm like, damn girl, like, I can't believe this happened. This is crazy. I'm waiting for my friend to come out the store. Like, girl, hurry up. I am in disbelief that he left her standing there and ran and got in a side bitch. Like it was so crazy. I'm just watching this shit unfold, bro. So my friend comes out. The, he comes out the store. He gets back in the car with the side bitch. They drive off. She's like, yeah. He told me she was lying. Everything she was saying, she was lying on the phone. She only trying to get me mad. He using her because you know it's tax time. She about to buy him the new iPhone. She about to get him a new car. She about to do all that for him. Like he using that bitch. Like. Mind you, y'all, she saying he using them, but you still in my crib. Your lights is still out. Now they telling you you finna get evicted. That you better come get your shit. Life is real for you. Life is really, 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 really real for you. You worrying about all the wrong shits. He's not using that girl. He's f***ing that girl. He's with that girl. Only feelings he's sparing is yours and he's not even doing that but you think he's doing that like i said they ride off we go to the crib so i'm telling her i'm like you're mad dumb if you fuck back with him she's like oh what you mean by that i'm like she left you standing outside like and he went with the side bitch she's like yeah i know he mad grimy like why would he do that he always making me look stupid in front of my friends bitch that's what you worried about looking stupid in front of your friends Worry about looking being stupid in front of yourself. Worry about being stupid in front of your kids. Like this was oh, it was just cringe at this point. Cause it was like it's no way she just don't know she dumb. It's either she she just playing dumb. Uh, it's just no way she don't know she's fucking dumb. Like at this point, and I like I said, I didn't get on here to try to judge anybody. Cause we all been through it. I've been through. I'd have been so super dumb for Troy. Yeah. I seen it y'all know it y'all listen it's like y'all been there but y'all haven't but y'all experienced the story time y'all know i've been stupid and dumb for this boy I, I i done did it but i feel like she was going too far like he's showing you he's showing everybody around you and you still like no he not no everybody else is lying no he's telling the truth the other hundred people is lying, Charisma. Like, you can't see that. And I'm looking at her like, why are you trying to convince me to be as dumb as you? 
I'm dumb on level two. You trying to take me up to an eight. I don't want to be that dumb. Like, you tripping. You tripping. We come back to the crib, right? The day after that, he pulls up. He's seeing the kids or whatever like that. Ain't nothing too loud. Nothing going on. Nothing like that, right? This is what he do, y'all. He literally comes in the house, pick his kids up. Oh, yeah, daddy, miss you. Yeah, put them down. Talk to her and then leave. You literally pick them up, put them down. Like, when you taking them? When you gonna really spend time with them? When you gonna really be a dad? When you really gonna see what the real, what the is really going on with your kids? Like, you not doing that because you too busy chasing this side. And she too, and delusional too busy chasing you. And I'm too busy chasing y'all kids because y'all neglecting them, not paying them no mind. And like, yeah, like y'all tripping. So, that happened over there, right? So, he said something to me. Like, try to start up. You can tell when they're trying to start up a conversation, but they kind of, like, nervous. They don't know how your mood is. So, I guess he was trying to fill in the mood. Because I was there when all of this shit happened. I was driving. Like, I seen what you did to my friend. But, again, I'm not speaking up. That's not my place. That's your baby mother. That's your baby father. That's y'all. Y'all kids. You know what I'm saying? That's not my place. I can feel however I want to feel. I can have my own opinion. I'm going to keep my own opinion inside. All I know is I'm going to help my friend. She got another two weeks and she got to go. It was mad stuff happening during the weeks. That's why the story's so damn long. He trying to get the feel of it. He, he say something like a little joke or something. I'm like, you better stop playing with my friend. You better stop playing with my friend for that side bitch get beat up. You better stop playing with my friend like that. He start laughing. He like, nah, I don't fuck with that bitch. Like, she ugly as fuck. I don't fuck with that bitch. Like, you know, you already know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, on some real nigga. Like, I'm disgusted. We not friends. We not real nigga. We not, none of you talking about, like, but, you know, I'm not trying to be rude, so I'm just like, oh, yeah, okay, all right, so he leaves, I hear the sniffling in the room, my friend gets to crying, she always crying when he leaves, cause she know he going to be with another bitch, she know that, and she just couldn't handle the fact that that was happening, so the next day comes or whatever, like I said, her twin sister comes to the house, so her twin sister like, damn, Damn delusional, it been two weeks. You see your Wi-Fi still off, girl? Like, ain't no way your Wi-Fi still off. Your Wi-Fi probably only like $50, girl. You still at somebody else's house using their Wi-Fi. Like, bro, no filter. No filter at all. So my friend, like, girl, what are you talking about? This is my friend. We just spending time, you know, the kids, you know, everybody just chilling, stuff like that, right? She still lying to her family saying her Wi-Fi off. No, bitch. I mean, he beat you up and dragged you up the carpet and left you in a cold house with the kids and left with the side bitch. Then we went to the job and then they left you standing right there. And then she was calling you and she was telling you this. And bitch, tell them how you was crying for 14 days and 14 nights, bitch. Tell them the real truth. But my friend wasn't telling them, y'all. She was not telling them. Like I said, the twin sister, she over there. We all chilling, so having a smoke session. The sister, she cool or whatever. I know her from Adidas too or whatever. Everybody's chilling. So she's telling about her boyfriend and her drama with her nigga. And I'm sitting here like, oh, oh no. So I was like, yo, it cannot be two delusional ones. Y'all bitches both can't be delusional. Y'all bitches both can't be stupid. Why these two bitches started laughing? They was like, girl, you're so crazy. Like, no, y'all both really dumb over these. Y'all both taking kids. Like, y'all both really doing this. Like, hold on. Y'all both of y'all niggas really. So you, so the sister, she talk about how she barely ain't got no food, you know, because she don't get to eat better today, you know, because she make a little bit too much. But then they backed up on the rent, and he not doing this, and her daughter was hungry, and he didn't want to feed the daughter, but he went out to eat crab legs. And I'm just sitting here like, so both you bitches is dumb? Or like, I understand y'all twins, but one got to be smart. One got to be smart. It wasn't delusional who was smart. It was definitely was the other sister because yeah, at least she at least she had her shit together. She had her shit together. She had it right. Her twin sister has a daughter. Her daughter is around promise age, uh, a little bit younger than promise. So she she took a liking to Harmony because she came over or whatever. So she's like, oh my god, mommy, can Harmony come over to the house? This is my friend. I'm you know I want her to come over there because she come over there. I'm gonna do a sleepover. So I know the sister. I know delusional twin sister, but I don't even know who her man is, who she have in her house, what's going on, the living arrangements. I don't know nothing like that. So the spending night 
it was already out. It was already out. So I was just like, oh, I don't know about all of that. We just gonna call her twin. So twin, she was just like, oh, you know, it's okay. I'll take her. This, that, and the third. Y'all, delusional is in the kitchen. Tears in her eyes. Legs shaking. She is so mad. So we look at her. We like, oh, what's going on? She like, oh, you want to take everybody else, kids? But you don't even want to fuck. Like your nieces, nobody want to help me with them. The, 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 when I tell you delusional went the fuck off, like, oh, you want to do this, you want to do that? Mind you, twin kid is not delusional kid's age. Delusional kids is two and three years old. Twin kid is like eight, nine years old. What are you talking about? So we basically established that, okay, well, Harmony can go over there with twin and y'all and the kid, and I'll pick her up around 10 o'clock. So the, um, the twin, she was good with it. Like I said, Delusional was in the kitchen crying, going off. She went off so bad, twin was like, damn, all right, just get her dressed in, damn. It's not that serious. Why you going in for Delusional? You mad emotional man this pregnancy man you you be doing too much man delusional start stopped crying so fast ran in that room threw the coat on the little girl they didn't even get a dress wipe her face down nothing threw the coat on the little girl and push her out the door come on go just go just go i was like girl they only gonna be going to 10 you acting like you getting a big ass break like it's about five o'clock you got a couple hours to cry and chase your but it's about 5 o'clock. Mind you, the other daughter, her, her two-year-old, she was asleep. Now, the two-year-old, she was real good when she was by herself. But that three-year-old, that three-year-old was a demon. Me and Delusional had gotten to it after the sister and them left because her daughters, like, her daughters, they used to be tripping on Blessing, bro. And like I said, the two-year-old would only do it when the three-year-old was around. But that that older one, that demon child, bro, that demon child, when I tell you she used to be going off, like she used to just walk up on Blessing, snatch her tablet. Mind you, she got her own tablet, little girl, right? She'll have her tablet in her hand, walk up on Blessing, snatch her tablet, push Blessing on the floor, and tell her, yo, you tripping, you tripping. Where the she getting that from her house she's seeing this dude she's seeing player do this to you and now you got your kids over here trying to abuse blessing so i had a big problem with that like girl so i checked up with it about it when her sister left listen i'm gonna need you to keep your kids hands to themselves because the next time i see some shit it's going down it's going down you think you give ass whoopings or whatever you trying to do no your kids gonna learn today they're gonna be in there on some rice Knees on some rice. They're going to be holding a wall for seven hours. I'm not playing. Tell your kids they better keep their hands off my baby. I don't play with my baby. Got blessing crying and shit. She can't even be comfortable in her own house. All oh, because I'm trying to help her. Baby. Got the whole family energy just all over the place. Charisma, you always trying to help somebody. I swear to God, I'm a shelter. Come come on over here if you need help. Come on. Oh, you need to come out. Oh, come on in. <laughs> Grab a spot. The dumbness never stopped. It never stopped. The dumbness just continued. My sister took the kid or whatever. She get off the phone. I finally calmed her down for delusional. So, basically, the sister is, is reminding us, like, oh, y'all coming at 10 to get the kids, right? Yeah, 10. So, I'm like, yeah, 10 o'clock, whatever, like that. So, my friend gets mad. Delusional gets mad. She starts talking mad shit about her twin sister. Like, when I tell you mad shit, I was looking at her up and down, like, bitch, I wonder what the fuck you say when I'm not around. If you could say all this about your twin and y'all came out together the same womb, I wonder what you could say, what you be saying about me. And I'm helping you. Literally. Like... Helping the f out of you like to the point you running up my water my everything. I'm helping you, right? So she's just gonna be off like yeah, this and she better than everybody else She worked a, a, like a call center or whatever, but she worked from home. She don't want to give nobody the link She don't never want to put nobody on Yeah, she don't want to help me because she keep bringing up my baby father player with these family members keep bringing up my for why they worried about him help me and the kids don't worry about my don't worry about my nigga. And I'm just over there like, well, she like, yeah, she dealing with a bum ass at her crib. Fuck out of here and wonder why I don't want my kids to go over there. Like, she going off. And I'm like, why are you doing, like, I'm just listening to her. Like, so I'm just listening to her go in on her sister. She's like, yeah, he didn't even want to feed her daughter last week. He still be 
and on his baby mother, like, F out of here, and she got the nerve to tell me, me and my kids gotta go, because he said, like, who the F is he? I would've helped her, and F out of here, like, that's not even my sister, like, yeah, and then my mother, that bitch wanna cut my phone off, and she, like, when I say she going off, yeah, my brother, he don't know what the hell, he just dusty, and he this, you going off for everybody but the nigga you need to be going the fuck off on, player, what are you talking about? So you expect all these people to do all this, but you expect player to do the bare minimum. These his kids, y'all created this. Like, what's really good? Like, because now you you being delusional for real, for real. You being extra. And y'all, I'm telling you everything that I'm saying to this camera. I said to her face. And she will always be laughing. Like, you really think I'm delusional? You really think I'm crazy? Nah, I don't believe that. It's just that I love him, you know? Like, she would just play it off like... It wasn't an issue, you know what I'm saying? Like, she she, she was crazy in love with that nigga. And then she expressed to me that was the only nigga she ever had in life. Like, you know what I'm saying? She only been with about three niggas in life, you know what I'm saying? So she was real stuck on him. She was with him for years, you know? Eight years going on, nine years, whatever like that. Her first kid with him, like, she was hella in love. But, girl, you gotta let it go one day because it turned, it didn't, it wasn't love no more. It turned into something else. You got rug burns on your back, missing doctor's appointments because you don't want them to see that. Because once they see abuse in the South, baby, they taking all them kids. You gotta explain what the hell going on. And when that baby come out your stomach, we want that one too. They not playing out here. And she knew that. She knew that. So, yeah, she was just popping mad shit sister and them and I was just like wow that's crazy talking about man and stuff and I was just like wow yeah he had drunken he this and he that and I was just like mm 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 this is so sad the pot calling the kettle black she like yeah but my nigga is better than that like you comparing both ain't shit ass niggas. they both just ain't shit like what, what's the problem like just shut up she you know she, this is to a point she started getting me tight I wanted to slide her Ass, bro oh god she had got back her tax advance or whatever like i said she didn't handle nothing she was supposed to handle that nigga was coming over there every single day to fake pick the kids up and put them down so he could get whatever he want to get it was outside food it was crazy shit. so mind you i told you i had got back the little 2000 ebt or whatever right so i'm feeding my kids her kids her the crib like i'm feeding kids she she even sneaking food for her Late at night because he got off of work at 11 so he would come like 11 stay to like one with the kids and then he would leave You know what I'm saying? But yeah, and yes the kids was up because the kids they never slept because she oh she wanted them to sleep all day She wanted them to sleep and sit down all day. So they used to be up that late. Yes So he used to come over or whatever I, I feel like she used to be sneaking food for him and making him stuff and cooking for him and stuff like that Like I said, I done spent damn near all my EBT up in, in this crib they eating crazy. I'm finding bowls of cereal in my son's closet. I'm finding cakes and pies. I'm finding pizza things. Like, I'm finding everything after I clearly told her I do not want no eating in my kid's room. We don't have no animals, no roaches, no nothing crazy in our room. And I'm trying to keep it that way. So, don't do that. No, I'm finding all types of shit. In the fucking closet, that's how I knew she was sneaking in food. Fish plate, seafood, boy, all types of shit. It's just disgusting. Just disgusting. She would call herself straightening up, cleaning up every time. And then I would turn around and 30 minutes later he was walking in the door. So that's the only time you could clean up and straighten up when that is coming over. Like you can't straighten up and do nothing when he not. Like, I, I just, I really just didn't understand that part. I was just like, girl, just clean up behind them, period. You ain't say he come over to try to straighten up. That's how I knew something was going on. So, yeah, her and her kids, all of them eating up the food, sneaking food in, doing all this, right? Food start getting low, y'all. Food start getting low in the house. Why do Delusional go to the store, right? Her baby daddy player comes over in the side car and he take her and the kids to the store because I told you she got her little tax advance you know what I'm saying she got a little tax advance so he was being extra nice it was no oh block me oh f that no he was coming over every single day non-stop now until that bitch money was low he was coming over they going out they getting Chinese food they getting McDonald's she buying stuff from the supermarket cereal all types of stuff so I remember it was one particular day she had went out and she had bought these pieces that my kids eat 
right? And it was the same pieces that I had bought when I had got my little EBC or whatever. And I had seen she kept feeding her kids the pizza and she liked the pizza so she was eating them. So I'm like, okay, I'm not saying that because food is food. I'm not like that. It was no more pizzas. She went to the supermarket, bought more pizzas and stuff like that. Was hiding stuff in the closet. I remember Cecile went up to her and was like, yeah, can I get one of those pizzas? Because you know, your kids done destroy all the last ones. And you know, made a little jokey joke. And she was like, I heard this say oh no because those pieces is for the ki my kids and you know I don't want them to run out of food but you just ate all of my kids shit. you your kids and your baby father just ate all of my kids shit. and I didn't say nothing cuz I'm not like that with food but now it's time to replace some shit and buy some shit too and it's like oh yeah I'm gonna buy some shit but now it's only for me my baby father and my kids your kids can't get any so once I started seeing that I was just like okay y'all drinking up all my cases of waters I'm finding half empty case half empty bottles drinking up the flavors now I thought you didn't drink flavors oh well, I tried them and they was real good now they drinking up all of that drink just doing the most it was like it was enough was enough so i was telling her y'all i got my water bill y'all normally my water bill be like 104 a month when i'm living in an apartment it's cheap in the house it's about 30 dollars a month in the house y'all water bill about 104 right light bill about the same average the most the light bill go up to is by probably about 120 right so i made sure I paid all of this stuff. I made sure because I was going out Grubhub and doing all of that. That's why I wasn't able to get on YouTube that month because I was backed up and I was going hard. So I got all of them bills up on a zero. Feel me? Her and her kids came. So mind you, she had got her little events or whatever like I told y'all. You know what I'm saying? The bills come out. Now, my water bill, my water bill, $180 something dollars. Mind you, she done went to her house, got all her clothes and her kids' clothes and all that washing clothes. They taking extra long baths. Everybody just chilling. Feel me? Chilling in charisma with my lights on and her lights off. Everybody just chilling, just chilling, right? The bill come out, the water bill, $180 something dollars. The light bill come out 200 and something dollars more than double of what I normally pay. You know what I'm saying? So I take the bill to her. I'm like, yo, friend, what's up with it? I spoke, I sat down, I spoke to her. I said, yo, you I ain't see you pay that 700 and something dollar light bill at your crib that they about to take in two days when the first come. I didn't see you pay what you was supposed to pay when you got that advance. That's why you said you was going to do it. I done been seeing you do everything for this that's taking your money and giving it to the side bitch. So explain to me how we gonna break these bills down. Cause these how my bills normally look and these how they is now that you and your kids is here. So you're gonna take the difference and you're gonna pay that and I'm gonna pay the regular one oh something that it is. And she agreed with me. She's like, oh, yeah, friend, you know, I got you. Da, 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 da. It's time to pay the bill. I don't know where this is at. I don't know what happens to this bitch. I don't know what happened. But before all of that, right, so boom. Oh, yeah, the story goes on. The story goes on and it goes on and it goes on to the point I'm tired of talking about this shit. To the point I'm tired. I'm, I'm ready to go to the this slate talking about this bitch. This bitch make me tired. The baby daddy come over, right? Everything copacetic. There's no arguing, none of that shit, right? The morning time come, right? Because he come over real late that night. He come over like 3 in the morning. I'm not dumb because I heard my door. This is the first day that I found out she snuck him in the back and had him in Cecilia's room. And I'm going to tell y'all how I found out. She will wait real late night, so I guess to try to get him to spend a night with her, right? So, mind you, bitch, when my son bed... And you trying to bring a grown ass n n in my son's room. And my son is on a f***ing couch where I'm trying to make you and your kids comfortable and help you and your f***ing pregnant belly out. Bitch. And you over here bringing the same n that got you into all this mess into my son's room late at night trying to disrespect me and be weird. So yeah, I found out she was sneaking in, right? He and there, whatever, I guess he leave. 
So it's time for the kids to go to school, everything like that. All the kids go to school, everything good. I bitch call the phone. Oh, where he at? Da, 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 da. He's supposed to come get me from work. Where my car? This, that, and the third. Blah, they, blah, they, blah. Y'all, right? Oh my God, my battery is dying again. <sighs> this might have to be a part two, y'all. Because my battery is dying again and I'm charging the other battery. And I don't know where that battery is. But before I die, let me try to hurry up and get started. The side bitch call the phone over there, right? So we decide we're going to pull up to the side bitch house. But before we even get to the side bitch house that morning, y'all. Mind you, it was like 8. No, I'm going to say like 7 in the morning. Like just hit 7. Because my kids had just all went to school. So before we even get to the side house y'all we pulls up to the gas station y'all and he not even in the side car he's in my friend delusional car and the side bitch gets out the passenger side of my friend delusional car and y'all guess what happened after that yeah y'all gonna have to wait for part two i know y'all tight but it is what it is because, baby, there's too much footage. Batteries keep dying on me. That means I'm talking too much, y'all. So all the juicy shit is going to still be a lot of more juicy shit in the next story. It's going to have to be a part two. But, yeah, I'm off this, y'all. It's late. Good night.